all the blood vessels in the abdominal wall can be traced back or forwards to one of a few major blood vessels or one of their larger branches. So before we look at a specific region, let's learn about these vessels. The arterial supply of the abdominal wall stems from a number of parent arteries, namely the aorta, the subclavian artery, the common iliac and external iliac arteries, and finally the femoral artery. The aorta is the largest artery in the body and through its numerous branches provides the arterial supply to the abdominal wall. It originates directly from the heart and consists of three parts, the ascending aorta, the arch of the aorta and the descending aorta. Part of the descending portion is located in the thorax and is named the thoracic aorta and part is located in the abdomen and is thus named the abdominal aorta. The abdominal aorta gives off a number of branches that provide arterial supply to both the anterior and posterior abdominal wall. Arising from the arch of the aorta, directly on the left and indirectly via the brachiocephalic trunk on the right, is the subclavian artery. The subclavian artery mainly provides an arterial supply to both the thoracic and cervical regions. However, it gives off a branch known as the internal thoracic artery, which contributes to the arterial supply of the abdominal wall via its branches. At the lower level of vertebra L4, the descending aorta divides into the right and left common iliac arteries. The common iliac arteries further bifurcate to form internal and external iliac arteries. The external iliac artery descends towards the thigh, where it becomes known as the femoral artery at the level of the inguinal ligament. The external iliac and femoral arteries provide numerous branches which supply the lower portion of the abdominal wall. Moving on to the major veins of the abdominal wall, we meet the inferior vena cava. The inferior vena cava is the largest vein of the human body. It is located at the posterior abdominal wall to the right of the aorta. The inferior vena cava returns venous blood from the lower limbs and abdominopelvic region to the heart. It receives tributaries from the femoral vein and external iliac vein via the common iliac vein. From this lateral view, we can see that the superior vena cava also receives venous drainage from the regions of the abdomen via the azygous and brachiocephalic veins. The azygous and brachiocephalic veins receive venous blood from the abdominal wall through the ascending lumbar and internal thoracic veins, which we'll meet later on. The superior vena cava is contained in the superior thorax and ends at the level of the third costal cartilage. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.